Hello guys, welcome to my channel. This is tutorial number 61 in this course and in this tutorial we are going to talk about strings. Now a string in C is a one dimensional array of characters and just as you would work with a one dimensional array of integers or a one dimensional array of floats, you would work with the strings, right? So as you can see using code blocks, I have saved a file and I've given it the name strings.c and in this tutorial, through this program, we're going to see how we can declare a string and how we can display it on screen using printf function. And we're going to talk about a couple of more things. So let's just get right into this. And uh, on line one in this file, I have the stdio.h header file. On line two, I have the main function. And then between the curly braces for main, I have two executable statements. On line four, I have declared an array of characters and I've given it the name str. And you can uh, make out that the data type of this uh, array is char. So all the elements in this array uh, have to be characters, right? And uh, I haven't specified the size of this array. I have left the square brackets empty. And then I have the assignment operator. And then I have uh, typed in my string within a pair of double quotation marks. So this is the first thing that you need to know about strings that whenever you work with them in C, you have to put your strings within a pair of double quotation marks, right? So single quotes won't work as they do with some other programming languages like PHP or Python. In C, if you're working with strings and you have to put your strings between double quotes, right? So that's a rule and you have to remember that. And uh, then I have my string, which uh, consists of two words, hello in world, and uh, there is a space character between the two words. And then I have the exclamation symbol at the end of the second word, uh, which is world. Right, and then I have the semicolon to terminate the statement. On the next line, I have the printf function that's going to display the string on screen. And I've used the percent %s format specifier. So you use percent %d for integers, percent %c for characters, percent %f for floats, and you have to use percent %s for strings, right? And uh, then after the comma symbol, I have the name of the string, which is str. And you don't have to type in your brackets here or anything. You just have to specify the name of your array or string, which is str. Right, so let me save the file and when I click on build and run, I see that my string is displayed in the output window, which is hello world, right? And the exclamation symbol is there too. Now, another thing that we're gonna see in this tutorial is how we can know the size of this string, right? So how many characters the string contains, if you wanna know that, then there are a lot of ways in which you can do that. And uh, you can use a predefined method to do this. It's the strlen or the string length method. And we're going to check that out in the next tutorial. In this tutorial, we're going to see how we can use the size of method to uh, obtain the size of strings, right? So let me get another printf statement. And between double quotes, I'll get the new line escape sequence because I would want to display the size on a new line in the output window. And uh, let's display a message first like, the size of the string is, and since the size is going to be a number, right, it's going to return the number of characters to us. We'll have to put in the person D format specifier to display the value of it. And then after the comma symbol, I'll type in size of, right? And then between parentheses for the size of function, I'll just specify the name of my string, which is str. And I'll put a semicolon to terminate this statement, save the file. And when I click on build and run, I see that in the output window, first on line one, the string is displayed, which is hello world. And then on the next line, I get the message, the size of the string is 13, right? So how come this string has 13 characters? Let's count the number of characters in the string. The word hello has got five characters. And then the word world has got five characters. So you add them up and you get 10. And then there is a space character between these two words. So if you would add that to the total count, the total count would uh, move to 11. And then you have the exclamation symbol as the last character. So the total would move to 12. But how come the compiler is returning 13 characters in the output window? It's because whenever you have strings in your programs and when you compile your programs, the compiler automatically adds a null character at the end of your strings, right? So over here, you would have a null character as a terminating character, and this would be added by the compiler to know where your strings are actually ending, right? So let me save this file and, uh, sorry, let me save the file and run the program. And you would see that the null character is not displayed on screen. And the null character, by the way, is a combination of two characters. You have the backslash and then the digit zero, right? So this combination is not displayed on screen, but if you would see that after adding this, 
the total size of the string moves to 14 from 13, right? So even though we put a null character of our own at the end of the string, the compiler still needs to add one of its own to know where the string is actually terminating, right? So that's another thing that you need to know. So that's it for now. In the next tutorial, we are going to check out some string functions and it's going to be fun. And uh, I hope you guys had fun watching this tutorial. And please subscribe to my channel in case you haven't already. And I'll see you soon.